Hi, this is Eric Lyons, and this is a tutorial on how to use Koji in order to compare uh, the genomes of a couple of organisms whose name I'm probably going to mispronounce, but I think they're called Phytophoras. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for these genomes using Organism View, and I'm just going to, in this case, cut and paste uh, part of that name into the organism name search blocks. Then I'm going to just scroll through the list of identified organisms until I see one of the ones that I want to compare which in this case will be um, uh, the infestin strain T30-4. So once I've identified that organism, I'm going to compare it, um, it to another uh, species using the program SYNMAP. So I'm just going to click on the link to SYNMAP, and when SYNMAP loads, it'll have this organism loaded in uh, both the organism search boxes. Well, what I want to do is find a different species um, for one of them. So I'm going to click on the organism description uh, for the genera, and with it, I'm going to select the Parasitica uh, species, um, strain INR3110, or 310. And so in here, I want to compare the two strains that are from um, the Broad Institute. I can see that there's many to select from. Um, this one happens to be from NCBI. The one at the top is, is from Broad. Same with the uh, Parasitica. And once I've got these two selected, I'm just going to compare the genomes using the default settings um, using SYNMAP. Now, when the results come back, um, each one of these little boxes is a chromosome by chromosome comparison, and the green dots or lines are the syntenic gene pairs. So if I want to investigate one of these in more detail, I can just click on it, and it will create a little pop-up uh, window that will have that chromosome-chromosome comparison in there. When I mouse over these dots, you can see that the information gets updated as to what that gene pair is. But when the crosshairs turn red, this is actually linked to another program in Koji called GIVO. And what GIVO does is allows you to compare regions in, in high resolution. So in this case, we're anchoring ourselves in these two genomes at this particular pair of genes. And we're going to extract out that gene along with an additional 50 KB of sequence upstream and downstream from it in both of these genomes. And I'm just going to go ahead and run the analysis as this is configured. And so this will compare these two genomes. These panels represent the genomic regions. Um, this one up here is from Infestans, this one is, is from Parasitica, and this graphic is basically an overview of, of that genomic region. Um, if you want to get some help, um, you can click on this little button here that'll, that'll take you over to a help page, and that'll describe what the results are and how to interact with them. But these little green things are gene models. The yellow one is a gene pair that we had selected from SYNMAP, and that these orange blocks represent regions of sequence similarity. If I click on them, it'll connect those regions that are similar to one another. Now, regions that are identified in the same orientation are drawn on the top, and those in the opposite orientation are drawn on the bottom. And so this is uh, interactive. You can click on any of these genes. You can get more information about them. You can blast them. You can search them. Um, if you want to, you can expand out your view. So instead of looking at 50 kilobases of sequence, we could stretch it out to um, 200 kilobases of sequence. It also supports a variety of dynamic um, masking. So I'm going to just mask one of the sequences. Um, for anything that doesn't actually code for genes. This is sometimes useful because it cuts down on the amount of search space uh, that these algorithms have to analyze, and that can uh, be really important when you're dealing with genomes that have a large amount of repetitive sequence. These look to be pretty compact. Um, in terms of the graphics, uh, these orange regions are um, portions of the genomes that are represented by ends. These are usually unsequenced gaps. When sequence is masked, it turns purple. So you can see that we've masked out a whole bunch of this genome up here. And you can identify uh, these regions of sequence similarity by clicking on them one by one. But if you hold the Shift key and click on one of them, it'll highlight all of them together. And so here you can see the very classic pattern of synteny. Almost everything in terms of gene content is collinear between these two regions. And a couple of genes have been inverted. Um, the bottom here shows all of the results of this analysis. This gives you all the input files, all the intermediate files, all the output files. Um, it lets you download the individual images, has export options to other programs, and importantly, there's a, uh, a link at the end called GivoLink. If you use this link, so in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and, and copy it and paste it into a, a new tab, what that will do is can reconfigure the analysis for that particular um, um, run that you've done exactly as it is. So this allows you to come back and regenerate any set of results um, at any point in the future. The whole design behind Koji is that the data goes in, it stays there, and you can always go back and revisit old analyses. Um, so with that, thank you very much, and um, good luck comparing these genomes.